I'm Kimberly Kay with your entertainment report from MidHudsonNews.com. Well, which celebrity would you like to borrow a cup of sugar from? Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert top this year's celebrity neighbor survey by Zillow.com. Oh, doesn't it just figure there is such a survey? Reese Witherspoon and Taylor Swift are tied for second. Then comes Jon Stewart. Beyonce and Jay-Z are tied for fifth with Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Kristen Stewart and Justin Bieber are tied for last. Uh, of course, I just want you to keep in mind that none of those celebrities would actually have sugar in their house, but uh, <laughs> that's the highest percentage in the six years since Zillow has conducted the survey. Nearly half of the people said they wouldn't want to live next to any celebrity, but if they had to choose, Honey Boo Boo is the star they'd least like to have as a neighbor. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are in second place, followed by Donald Trump. Lance Armstrong and Clint Eastwood are tied for fourth place, and Taylor Swift is in fifth, followed by Kristen Stewart, even though they were also on the list that you'd most like to borrow a cup of sugar from, Taylor Swift and Kristen Stewart. Oh, it's exhausting. Angelica Houston is PETA's Person of the Year. Houston is involved with several animal rights causes. She's opposed the fur industry and horse-drawn carriages. She also campaigns against great apes being forced to perform in advertisements. Len Goodman didn't have to worry about the first dance with his new wife at their wedding. He's the dance expert who's a judge on Dancing with the Stars, and Sue Barrett, his new wife, is a dance teacher. The Daily Mail reports that they've gotten married. He's 68, she's 21 years younger, and they've been dating for more than 10 years. Patti Page, who made Tennessee Waltz one of the best-selling recordings ever, has died. She was 85. Page died on New Year's Day in Encinitas, California, according to her manager. She was one of the top-selling female singers in history, with more than 100 million record sales and created a distinctive sound for the music industry in 1947 by overdubbing her own voice when she didn't have enough money to hire backup singers for the single Confess. She had 24 records in the top 10 including four that reached number one. In local entertainment news, Joe Vey...